Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful flower seed beads bracelet in retro colors. It's really easy to make and when I show you how to make one of those cute elements you could use them in necklaces, bracelets, earrings and even ring. And um, I'm showing in a lot of my tutorials how to do this. Uh, if you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and uh, you could also help me by liking, sharing and, and commenting and you don't know how, how much of a support this is and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I use a clasp and a jump ring. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. Size 10, 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And I will take a golden and a black. A golden and a black. And I want to take six blacks and six goldens, alternating them. This makes three. Okay, and now I have 12 beads on my needle, six golden and six black. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot and now I have this a circle of 12 beads Okay guys, and now what I want to do is go through the next three beads and I want to exit out of a black bead. And here what I want to take is two goldens, one red and two goldens. So this is what I have on my needle. And I want to skip this middle golden bead and go through the following black. And I pull. And then I'm going to repeat this. Two goldens, one red and two goldens. Okay, this is what I have. I skip this golden bead and go in the following black one. Okay, and pull. Okay, two goldens, one red and two goldens. This is what I have. Skip the next golden and go in the black one. And now guys, I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay guys, now I have this and as I'm exiting from this black one here what I want to do is go through these following two goldens. Okay, here I am. Then I will go through this red one here. 
at the edge and don't worry your work bends and moves at this stage will fix it and it will start looking really better okay then in my next step i'm taking a red a black and a red and i'm going back in circle through this red one and pull then i will go just one golden bead to the center of my work and i'm going to take one black bead like this and go here in the same place in my other loop of beads okay between these two goldens and then also go through this red one and here i need a red a black and a red one this is what i have and i go back in circle through this bead here okay and i will go just one bead to the center and then i will take a black one and i'm going here in this golden between those two golden beads then in the red one and i take a red a black and a red go back here then through this golden here one black okay and i'm going to continue these guys off camera i will repeat this three more times and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next if you forgot how i did it just rewind the video and repeat this part from here okay see you in a while okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last black bead from this row in the same place where i added my other black beads okay i need a little bit of fixing here now guys i have this and in my next step i'm going in this red bead okay here guys what i want to take are three red beads like this and i want to go in this red bead here i will skip the black one and go around this here okay and what i want to do is when i pull i make sure that this black bead pops up from this side you see how it pops up from this side and this will be the front part of my bracelet where my beads pop up okay then what i want to do is go through this golden black golden and I pull then I go in this red one and I'm going to repeat this step take three reds skip the black one here and go in this red one and if you can even in the following golden in one movement and now I will push this loop at the back and when I pull, you see my bead pops up from this side, my black bead in the center, okay? And I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Go in here in this red one, take three reds, skip the middle black one go here okay like this okay and now I'm going to continue these three more times and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here where I'm just adding my last three beads from this row 
again I make sure this bead pops up from this side and now in my next step what I'm going to do is go here in my next flower and I want to go to the other side of my flower here I have two red beads from this side and I'm exiting between them I'm going through the top three beads here okay and now what I want to take is a golden a black and a golden and go in the same place between those two red beads from one side of my flower of my neighbor flower okay and I'm going one two three beads at the top of this flower three beads the top three beads that I added last and I will take a golden a black and a golden and I will go here between those two red beads from this side or the other way to remember it go through these three top beads here and I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay three beads go here in the center and now guys repeat this three more times and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row okay like this and now in my next step what I'm going to do is exit out of this golden bead here and I'm going to take two golden beads and go in this central red one here okay like this then I'm going to take two more goldens and go here in this golden and if you can go through the three beads that you added in your last row golden black golden okay now I'm exiting here next to this red one and I need two golden beads and I'm going here in the central red one okay then I'm going to take two goldens and if I want to save time I will go through these three beads here in one movement it's up to you you could go slowly only through the first golden and then then through the next two but you could do this faster okay then I take two more goldens, go in the central red one like you did before, pull, then take two more goldens and go in these three beads here, exiting out of the following golden and repeat this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last two golden beads from this row and I pull like this then I will go through these two goldens here take just one golden and add it here where the empty space is above my last red bead okay then go through as many beads as you can in this direction go through these golden beads and exit where the empty space is and take one golden and add it here and pull And then again I will show you third time how I'm doing this and you will continue doing this three more times by yourself like you did in the previous rows okay if you forgot how I'm doing this you could always 
rewind, see how I'm doing this book here and repeat it. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm adding here my last golden sixth seed bead from this row. And what I want to do is exit through all of those beads here and reach this middle golden bead here. And this will be the place where I'm going to attach my clasp. And I will take here my clasp like this. And you see I will attach it in this direction because my beads pop up from this side. This is the back side of my flower and this is the front side, okay? That is why I'm attaching it in this direction. And in order to do this, I'm taking two black beads. Then I'm taking here my clasp. Slide those down. And I'm going to take two more black beads. You see, a clasp, uh, two black beads, a clasp and two black beads. And I'm going back in circle through the same bead I'm exiting out of, okay? Now I have this and I'm going to reinforce this joint here by going two or three times around it. Okay, and now in my next step, I will find a place to make a knot, okay? I will go here inside my flower and I want to go at the back side of my element and here I will make a loop between my beads okay and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I'm pulling and then guys I will go in my following seed bead pull and I'm going to cut my thread and now guys, the first element of my bracelet is ready and I'm going to make another element but I won't cut my thread and I will show you how I'm attaching it to this one. Okay guys, and now I'm, I did another element and I'm exiting out of this middle golden bead and now I'm going to show you how to attach it to my first element. Okay, and I'm going here also in my middle bead. Here I have three beads. Here I have three beads. This is my middle bead that I added in my last row. Okay. And I'm going to take one more black bead and go back in circle through this one here. Like that. Now you see I have a loop of beads here. And I'm going to reinforce this. Okay. Going around, reinforcing this. Okay, and now I'm going to make uh, a knot, cut this thread, and I will continue making more and more elements and adding it to this one. And when I have six elements, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and when I continue this process, this is what I have. I have already six elements attached. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to attach your jump ring okay and in order to do this I just attached my last element here in order to do this first I will go through the other part of my element
Okay, and as I'm editing here, what I want to take are five black beads. And I'm going to take my jump ring like this. And I'm going back in circle through this golden bead. Now guys, what I need to do is reinforce here this joint, make a knot, cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.